Alright guys, so I was busy doing upholstery work on the camper. We just got a call for an Audi A4 all-wheel drive <clears throat> on the beach. He said he was flooring it, trying to get it out, and blew something, and he doesn't know if it's cooling or oil, but smoked out the car, and he about passed out, so now he needs to be pulled out and get a tow back to the shop. All right, so we're here at the Auto Zone. We just picked up some antifreeze and some duct tape. The customer said he found where it's leaking the coolant out at and asked for these two things, so picked them up. Let's go get them out. Oh, I just a little stuck out. out to the paddle launch in Nocatee this morning to get out of Pathfinder stuck out in the woods. Say hi to Mr. Donald Trump duck. Alright, we'll see you when we get here. Alright, so we're just about here. And if anybody knows this little golf cart trail, if you have any dirt, debris, loose parts on your truck, this trail will knock it all off. Automated voice messaging system. Three, one. All right, so hopefully he walked back there. Let's go find the other vehicle and see if he's here. Well, I see the Pathfinder. Right there. Alright, so we just got a phone call from some cell phone tower guys, 250, 300 feet off road in the muddy field, framed out, had several trucks pulling on it, and they couldn't get it, so we're going to head out. Alright, so there's the cell phone towers over there, that's where they were headed to, so I'm guessing we need to pull off the road right here, see what's going on. The destination on. is on your left. 138 Wamsley Road. Looks like they just hit a stop spot. Nice uh, ratchet strap here. Definitely down in good ways with the trailer. Just 
a little wet back here. We had a change a little bit. Dug down pretty good, so now we're running to a tree. Back to him. He might get stuck again if he got stuck here once already. You see he is out we had to do a second pull because uh he was unhooked from the trailer and it was too far away to hook up so he's out we're headed to another pole he's back mowing the ground is pretty soft after the big rainstorm we had the last couple days so even with the scotch blocks down it starts sliding a little bit so we tied uh one part of the line to the tree just to keep us from moving. Came right out, good to go. We'll see you on the next one. <clears throat>
All right, guys, so we got a call for a John Deere 700-something bulldozer. Weighs about 33,000 pounds, stuck out in the field in Palatka. So we're about halfway to it now. We're going to get out here and look at it and see if we can get it out. All right, so this is the beginning setup. <clears throat> this is what we're going to start with. Um, we are running a five to one rigging setup right here off of two different trees. And we're going to give that a shot, see if we can get this thing to move. We got him back like three to four feet and then he stopped. So what we did, and then we hooked a chain. We'll put a shackle on the end so the chain couldn't damage the, the extension. And then we ran the chain to the blade of the dozer. Shortened, so we turned the blade all the way, one way. Put the chain on there and then used the blade to push while I was winching. Moving back a couple feet and then we turned the blade. We shortened the chain up and then turned the blade again and then turned it again. <laughs> One more bite. Is it tight? What are we gonna get? <laughs> Just swallowed the bug.
I'll get behind you, I'll grab that cable and walk if you want to back up a little bit more. All right, come on. day after the bulldozer job don't don't mind the mess we're getting ready for a camper trip we're actually leaving tomorrow to go to wildwood to spider mx so we're getting that all outfitted up we tested out the, the new generator we put the rack on the back to hold uh, the generator and the fuel cans we got some new seats the son's gonna bring his dirt bike but anyway, I wish, I wish I would have got a video of me walking to that bulldozer. Because I was just walking along and then bloop, I was like waist deep in water. Um, the top of that, once you went through it, it was water. Um, so I got back up on top, walked like halfway to it, bloop, sunk down to my knee. Got back up, walked a little bit farther, back down to my knee. Um... And the driest spot where you get to is probably around six to 700 feet to the dozer. And that's why he was having an issue finding people to pull it out. Nobody had a long enough cable. So somebody gave him our number. Um, we were able to drive the Jeep through the ditch. We were able to stay up on top and we got close enough um, to run a four part line to him and get him moving. And then we got him back like three to four feet, and then he stopped. And then we ran the chain to the blade of the dozer. Got him out. Um, the GoPro was running, but it, we were there like 30 minutes before dark. It took us about an hour and a half to get it out. And then the GoPro shut off at some point in time. So I have no idea how good a video um, it got. So I'm making this kind of as a summary. But uh, we got it out. The customers were extremely happy. We will see you on the next one. And if you're bored, come down to Wildwood and visit us.